hello guys welcome to the new video so in this video we are going to look at the concept of pointers and arrays basically we will look uh, what is the linkage between pointers and arrays and how we can use the concept of pointers in arrays right uh, so we will look for two types of array one would be 1d and another will be 2d right okay uh, so first we will focus upon 1d array and then we will see about 2d array right so as you know uh, when we declare an integer type array say of size 3 uh, then we have element 0 1 2 suppose right then this array is allocated in memory something like this yeah three blocks in the memory are stored for the array a right and each block have different address uh, right uh, suppose this uh, address is 100 then this address should be 104 right and this address should be 108 why, uh, now I will tell you why there is a gap of 4 between them right all these address say in bytes right uh, they have a gap of 4 bytes between them right that's because we know that uh, we have created the array of integer data type and each block of the memory represents an integer and we know that each integer takes 4 bytes right so a uh, 4 byte of memory space is allocated for each element in the array similarly another 4 bytes is allocated for another element in the array and so on right so the total size of the array becomes 4 plus 4 plus 4 12 right and suppose if we uh, don't know the size of this array right we can simply do see out size of function we can use size of function and give a here as an parameter right so this uh, size of function will print us 12 as an output right now if we want to know the number of elements in this array we have uh, modified this thing something like that oh sorry uh, that should be divide by size of int so what this uh, line is doing is this uh, size of a gives me the size of complete array which is 12 and size of int give me the size of int data type because I have created the array of int data type uh, that's why I'm dividing it with size of int if I have created the array uh, for any other data type then I would have divided this with size of that particular data type right so uh, size of a currently here is 12 and this would be divided by the size of int which is 4 right so this will give me 3 which is the total number of elements inside the array right okay so uh, now you know that how the array is uh, stored inside the computer memory now let's see something more uh, let me just uh, take the eraser of bigger size okay so let's see uh, how can we link the pointer with this concept right 
so uh, suppose I want to uh, make an pointer for this array so what uh, I will do is I will make an int type pointer int star let's say the name of pointer is p is equals to a right so uh, what this is doing is basically uh, before uh, explaining this I will tell you about this right uh, tell me what should be output for this I have made an array of name a integer data type with three elements 0 1 and 2 and I am printing a so what should be the expected output from this line right so the expected output from this line is the address of a of 0 right basically when we create an array the name of the array acts as an pointer right the name of the array acts and acts as in pointer and it is pointing towards the first element inside the array so when I am doing int star p is equals to a a is returning me a is returning me the pointer to an integer and what's that integer that integer is the first element in that array which is a of 0 right so uh, when I will make the pointer P of integer type equals to a then what will be stored inside this P the address of the address of a of 0 which is the first element in my array right so uh, now whether I see out A or I do see out P both will give me the same output which is the address of the first element inside this array right suppose the element stored here in this area uh, we have already did that 0 1 and 2 right so what will see out A will do is it will print 100 and what will see out p will do is it will also print 100 right uh, now what sh uh, what will be the output for c out a plus 1 right so uh, you all should tell me that what should be the output for a plus 1 right you can think uh, I will tell you that also so let me tell you that uh, a plus 1 right we know that a what is a a is the address of the first element inside the address is the first a is the address of the first element inside the array right and we will when we will add one when we will add one it will add four bytes to the address of this array Oh, sorry address of this element which means that uh, suppose if the value of a is 100 and we will add this one into it then uh, one will be automatically implicitly implicitly typecasted into pointer uh, into a pointer which will uh, add basically four bytes to it so now a plus 1 will point to the first element inside the array right so f uh, earlier it was pointing to the first element and when I did a plus 1 it moved ahead f by 4 bytes to point the next element inside this array so when I will do c out a plus 1 it will print the address 104 right okay uh, similarly when I will do a plus 2 see out a plus 2 
it will move ahead by 8 bytes in the address and now it will point to to right so uh, it will print the address of this element which is 108 and now suppose we want to print the value at particular address right suppose we want to print the value at particular address right yeah so uh, as we have seen that our array was something like this 0 1 and 2 uh, it said it was 100 104 and 108 right suppose we want to print the value at address 104 right suppose we want to print the value at address 104 so what we can do is we can see out a plus 1 so that the address will point to this particular block and then we can give a star here right so this line will print 1 right what uh, is this is this is d reference operator right so star a plus 1 will print me 1 all right okay so suppose we want to similarly if we want to print 2 we can uh, do c out a plus 2 within d reference operator right i hope you now understood what i was trying to say okay uh, okay i think we have seen all the points now uh, Alright guys, let's now see something more in 1D arrays with pointers, right? Suppose uh, you have an array int a with some elements, right? Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 15, right? Suppose you have this array. You want to print the element of these array, right? What you will do is you, you will just simply write int i equals to 0 i is less than by uh, suppose we have 1 2 3 4 5 right suppose i less than 5 i plus plus c out a of i this is a old school method which will uh, let you print all the elements inside this array so this loop will actually print you 7 8 uh, 9 10 and 15 for you right but we don't want to do that in this way we want to use pointer for printing the elements inside this array right so what we can do is we can write loop for int i equals to 0 till i is less than 5 i plus plus and what we can do is we can do c out now to access each value inside this array first we will give the address of the first element right what what is a, a is the address of the first element inside this array then we will increment this array each time by the value of i right so now every time this loop will iterate a plus i will have the value of address for 7 8 9 10 and 15 every time right whenever the value of i will change okay so uh, if i will do only this it will print me actually the address of those variable it will print me the value uh, address of 7 address of 8 address of 9 address of 10 and address of 15 but we want the values right so what we will do is we will add in d reference operator here now this loop will actually print me 7 8 9 10 and 15 right so this is how we can access each and every element inside an array by using pointers right 
ओके सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से अबाउट द पॉइंटर्स एंड वन डी एरेज राइट सो नाउ वी विल मूव अहेड एंड सी द कंसेप्ट फॉर टू डी एरेज विथ पॉइंटर्स राइट ओके गाइज नाउ लेट सी द कंसेप्ट ऑफ टू डी एरेज विथ पॉइंटर राइट सो वेन वी डिक्लेयर एंड टू डी एरे सपोज आई हैव डिक्लेयर एन टू डी एरे लाइक दिस एंड ऑफ बी विथ सम एलिमेंट से टू एंड थ्री राइट सपोज आई हैव डिक्लेयर माई टू डी एरे समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके नाउ वेन आई डिक्लेयर एन एरे टू डी एरे लाइक दिस what image do we create in our mind about this 2d array right we create uh, the image in our mind something in this way right uh, it is having 2d array. it's it it is generally like an matrix right Uh, so this is how the image uh, of 2d array looks like for us which is similar to matrix right which we think so right we uh, generally name the blocks in the uh, 2d array like this 0 0 0 1 0 2 1 0 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 This is our zero row, first row. This is our zeroth column, first column, and second column, right? So this is how we generally name our 2D array. But this is not the actual representation of an 2D array in computer. In computer memory, the 2D array is stored as in contiguous memory address, right? so uh, as we know um, basically you can say that 2d array is nothing but 2d array is pointer uh sorry uh, 2d array um we'll just undo this so uh, we can say that 2d array is an array of arrays it might sound uh, confusing but you will understand this Le uh, what i am saying is an 2d array consists of two arrays one is this array let me choose different color right one is this array and another one is this array for our example right so 2d array is an array of arrays right so the larger array which is this complete array consists of two different arrays one is this and one is this and how we will uh, generalize these two arrays is uh, suppose we want to uh, point to this array so we will do this b of 0 means the 0th row zeroth complete row of my 2d array and b of 1 will mean that it b of 1 will point to this array and b of 0 will point to this array right so in computer memory this array 2d array is stored something like this this is my b of 0 and this is my b of 1 and as in our example each row is consisting of three integers so uh, suppose the starting address of this is 100 so the starting of the uh, starting address of this array will be 1 1 right because each array will consume 12 bytes four bytes for each so 12 bytes for three element right so uh, this array will consume 12 bytes and this array will consume 2 bytes right so when i am saying b of 0 i am actually saying 
about these three elements right and when I am saying b of 1 I am saying about this array right so as we know that uh, the name of the array the name of the array returns the address of the first element right uh, as we have seen in 1d array that if we do C out a it was printing the address of the first element inside the array similarly in 2d array if I am doing C out B right it will print me the address of the first element so what's the first element for B it is B of 0 right and what is B of 0 it is actually the complete first row right so B will point to the 0th element I mean to say that the 0th row and B of 0 will point to the first element in this row right so when I will do C out B it will actually print me the address of this element right which is 100 so I will get output as 100 right so let's see how can we declare a pointer for in 2d array uh, as we know that the name of array is name of array is equals to pointer basically B is acting like a pointer right uh, suppose we want to declare another pointer with a different name other than the name of the array right so uh, we can do it like this right suppose uh, in 1d array if I have uh, suppose this is my 1d array right for this 1d array I uh, generated an pointer variable something like this right int star p is equals to a right in a similar manner if we do this for in 2d array suppose my 2d array is int b with two rows and three columns right uh, yeah so if i want to uh, make an pointer variable for this array suppose i am doing this right so this will actually give me the compilation error why because B here A was returning me the pointer to an variable or you can say the pointer to an integer right but here B is not returning an pointer to the integer right it is actually returning me an pointer to a 1d array right B consists of two arrays as we have seen B of 0 and B of 1 so when I am doing int star PTR equals to B it is not returning me and pointer to an integer but it is returning me and pointer to 1d array right and each array in our example consists of three elements right so if I will make the pointer type different right so I want to make it a uh, to store the address of the complete row of the uh, 1d array I can do something like this I will uh, make it something like this right so now as B is returning an address of 1d array of three elements right three elements and I have created an pointer variable which will store the complete address of an row of consisting of three elements right so this is how we can make an pointer variable to an 2d array right so as we have seen if I will uh, suppose uh, let's uh, give some elements in this area right uh, let me just choose this side of the array then. okay so let's say the elements inside my array are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right 
suppose this is the these are the elements of my array so when I will do C out let's uh, just you know uh, do one thing is wait all right guys so so I have just cleared up the page and just our array is here it is int B with two rows and three columns right so this is our array uh, a 2d array right uh, suppo uh, so I am uh, taking some outputs right so uh, I have declared an pointer variable for it right something like this ptr of 3 is equals to b right so suppose uh, I do c out b and I also do c out star of b and i also do c out b of 0 and uh, and i also do c out b of uh, wait address of b i do c out uh, ampersand b of 0 I suppose I do C out ampersand B of zero comma zero. Right. What else we can do? Uh ah, yeah. Suppose I did C out ampersand B of zero. Right. Okay so what should be the expected output for all these which I have written take your time and pause the video I hope that you all can now answer what all this will do print right take your time and answer your answers in the comment section below right yeah guys so uh, I think you all have think about the answers right you can post them in the comment section below but let's see what will be the output for each of these lines right uh, first of all let's see for this right see when we are see out when you are doing C out B right uh, as I have said earlier the name of the array returns the first element in that array right so as we are considering 2d array the name of the array will return the address of the first element inside this array so what is the first element inside this array it is b of 0 right so it's a uh, this row right so when I will do C out B it will uh, basically return me and pointer to an 1d array it will return me an pointer to 1d array right and that 1d array is b of 0 right and uh, what is b of 0 storing inside it b of 0 is another pointer will act as another pointer which will point to the address of the first element inside this array right so when we will see overall right it will print us the address of the first element of the first row right so address of this element here will be printed by this line right so let's see for the next uh, suppose the address of this element was 100 right uh, as we have seen earlier the element uh, the address of this was 100 right okay so let's just write that here uh, let's just give them number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right so 1 will print 100 right ok so now let's see for this when we are dereferencing the name of the array ok so what the, do this mean is uh, we are uh, basically b will return and pointer uh, to the 1d array right 
and when we will derefer it it will actually point to the address of this element only right so when we will do a uh, dereference with b it will also print 100 right okay so now let's see for this also so uh when we are doing b of 0 what is this doing is it is actually pointing to the first element inside this row 0th row right so this will also print 100 okay now fourth ampersand b so what is this doing is it will print the address of it will print the address of our 2d array and b is to uh, pointing to the first row so it will actually print the address of the first row and when we will print the address of the first row we mean the address of the first element in that row right so this will also print 100 now let's see what will this line will print it is printing the address of first row right what's the f address of the first row pointing to it is also pointing to the element of the first element inside this first row right so this will also print 100 okay so now let's see for this right when we are doing ampersand b of 0 0 it is actually representing the what is this this is actually representing the 0th row and 0th element right and we are printing address for that right what is our 0th row and 0th uh, column yeah this is our 0th row and 0th column so one is actually pending here uh, present here so ampersand b of 0 and 0 will print the address of this element right so this will also print 100 right so now let's see what do this will print now we are dereferring the address of 0th row right when I am doing this this is actually returning me and pointer to integer right this is returning me and pointer to the integer and what is that integer it is the first element in the first row so it is giving the address of first element in the first row right so when I am dereferring it it will actually print the value at that address right so this will actually print 1 right so let's see uh, what uh, this practically works or not and what uh, these outputs which I have written right actually do print or not right so let's go to our visual studio code so guys I have already uh, you can see that I wait uh, let me rerun this right okay so now you can see that I have rerun this program and I have uh, written all the same conditions here also right so this is printing the same output for all the elements up to here right and when I am printing uh, d referring b of 0 it is printing 1 right so we are getting correct output for the given conditions in our program right okay uh, so let's see some other conditions also right okay so now let's see what should be the output when I do uh, C out B plus 1 right so as you know that B is returning me an pointer to 1D array right when I will add 1 to it it will implicitly get converted into a pointer type of 1D array and it will actually add it will actually add 12 bytes to it why because in our example we have considered an array 
B with two rows and three columns each, right? So B is consisting of 12 bytes in each row, right? When I will add one to it, it will the address of B will move ahead by 12 bytes. Uh, let's say uh, earlier it was 100, now it will move to 112, right? So uh, what is actually so it will actually print me the address of the next row right uh, let's say that uh, yeah I have made that here right we as we have seen earlier right uh, uh, when we printed B it was pointing here and when I am doing B plus 1 it is moving 12 bytes ahead now it is not pointing to 100 it is pointing to 1 1 and 2 yeah, so it means that it moved to a next row right now my b plus 1 will print the address of the next row and will point to the first element in that row right so it will actually print 1 1 2 right uh, now what will happen if I will do C out star of B plus 1 right as we have seen uh, 112 is the address for 112 is the address for second row right when I will derefer it it will actually it will return a pointer to an 1D array and when I will derefer it it will point to the uh, first element in that row right so it will actually print me 112 only it will actually print me the address right so now suppose let uh, if I do C out star of b plus 1 right so what will this print for me right let's see guys as we have seen that star b was returning me the address of the first row and first well, basically it was returning me the address of the first element in the first row right when I am adding one to it so it will move four bytes ahead only and now this will print me the address of the next element in the first row which is 104 right so this will print me 104 and if I want to print the value at that particular address I will read derefer uh, it right so if I will do this I will get the value printed as 2 as we have made the array 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so it will actually print us 2 Gu right guys so uh, if you want to uh, point at any element inside this suppose I want to print b of i i a throw and jth column what I can do is basically what do you will do is see out b of ij right but using pointer how can we do that is we can do see out first we will uh, move our row with the help of I right so this will uh, make sure that we are at the particular row which I have pointed to right then we will move to particular element in that row first I will yeah so star b of I will give me the address of the b uh, first element in the first row right and then I will increment it with I I will move to the next row or uh, any other row I I th address ahead right and when I will do plus J in it it will 
move in the row like this right so if i have one two three four five and six right initially if the b value of i is zero right if the i value of i is zero and j is zero right so uh what will this be this will be b plus zero right so a uh, star of b will return me the address of this element only and plus zero will do nothing when the value of j will increment to one right or you can say if the value of j will be one so it will actually point to this right and when i will do d refer to it it will print the value at this address right so if you want to iterate over in 2d array you can do something like this like for int i is equals to 0 i is less than n i plus plus and then another loop for int j is equals to 0 j is less than n and j plus plus right n is representing the uh, number of rows and number of columns say the number of uh, say, let's say yeah n is rows and m is columns right so now what we are doing is we are writing c out star of b plus i plus j and we are dereferring it again so yeah when you will do this you will get printed the, all the elements in that array suppose we were having this array right one two three four five six suppose i gave the value of n as uh, two and the value of m as three right so it will iterate over these values and it will print you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, right? So I hope you have understood what I want to try to explain to you all about the concept of pointers in 2D array and 1D array, right? Uh, if you still have any other doubts, you can ask them in the comment section below right uh one thing more guys uh actually uh when you will create and pointer when you will declare and pointer variable uh it will look like something this right int star ptr wait not like this or you can generalize this to int star ptr number of columns is equals to b right so this is how you will declare an pointer to 2d array right and for 1d array you can do it simply int star name of your pointer say ptr a ptr say is equals to a right so this is how you can declare the pointers to and 2d array and 1d array right so i hope you guys have understand understood what i was trying to explain to you all Thank you so much guys. If you still have any doubts, you can ask them in the comment section below. Happy coding. Bye bye. And please like, share and subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends. Okay, bye guys.